Welcome back. Uh, joining us now is Africa 54 health correspondent Lino Madu. Hello, Lino. Experts say a mass vaccination program against meningitis A in Africa is a great success. More than 220 million people were immunized with the new vaccine, Menafrivac, across 16 countries in Africa's meningitis belt, from Gambia to Ethiopia. Vaccination campaigns will be rolled out in the remaining 10 meningitis belt states by 2017, according to the Meningitis Vaccine Project, a partnership between the World Health Organization and the charity PATH. Menafrevac was designed specifically for Africa, and in 2010, a mass vaccination campaign was started. Meningitis A bacteria causes inflammation of the lining of the brain and spinal cord, resulting in fever, trembling, and in severe cases, seizures and death. The World Health Organization recently changed its guidelines for the treatment of HIV. The WHO now recommends that all HIV-positive people begin, begin taking antiretroviral drugs when diagnosed instead of waiting until their white blood cell counts, known as CD4 levels, drop below a level. Lenny Ruvaga reports for VOA from Nairobi that implementing these new guidelines could be a challenge for Kenya. Jacinta Wangeshi takes her daily dose of antiretroviral medication known as ARVs, which slow the advance of the disease. The single mother of two has been living with HIV for 11 years. She gets her medication for free at her local health center on the outskirts of Nairobi. But there are other challenges. I'm taking these drugs. Whether you have food or not, you have to take them at the right time and the right, the right, um, the right time. The second challenge is that there is that stigma where you have a visitor in your house and you are, your time of taking the drug has come, but you fear for that person to know whether you are HIV or not. The National AIDS Control Council says there are approximately 1.6 million people confirmed to be living with HIV and AIDS in Kenya, but only about half are on ARV therapy. Some of the challenges include stigma and discrimination. Lack of meaningful involvement of people living with HIV and AIDS. Government have, has not yet synthesized the community on the guidelines, on the new guidelines. The new WHO guidelines mean the number of people in Kenya who need ARVs could at least double. The government launched a new digital application, the Situation Room, to better coordinate response efforts. Users can tell how many people are infected with HIV and AIDS in an area, how many are on medication, and what amount of medicine is available in the local health facility. The government says the supply of ARVs is not a problem. We have a minimum of six months worth of ARVs for people who are taking medicines in the country at any one time. And we distribute medicines to the facility on a monthly basis. But getting people to come in for testing remains an issue. Authorities believe there could be as many as half a million more HIV-positive people in Kenya who don't know it yet but could benefit from early treatment. Lenny Ruvaga for VOA News, Nairobi.